hello everyone welcome to the youtube channel and welcome to this video here today we are going to solve a really really interesting maths problem from the inverse trigonometry section and the problem at hand is 10 inverse of square root of 1 plus x square plus square root of 1 minus x square whole divided by square root of 1 plus x square minus square root of 1 minus x square and the target at hand is to basically reduce this in the simplest form possible simplest form possible so in order to do that we'll have to make some substitution use some triangular properties use some trigonometric properties and i'll be solving this entire problem here but before that let me request you to please 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 subscribe to this youtube channel as it gives us the confidence to come up with better videos every time so let's start the solution of this problem with a big smile on the face okay so the very first task at hand is to kind of reduce this particular part here which is inside the bracket in terms of 10 theta because we know for a fact that 10 inverse of 10 theta can be taken as theta but in order to do so We'll have to make substitutions in the value of x square here. So let us substitute the value of x square as cos 2 theta. Now the reason that I've taken the value of x square as cos 2 theta will be evident in now this step which will be now in place of x square let me write 1 plus cos 2 theta plus square root of 1 minus cos 2 theta whole divided by square root of 1 plus cos 2 theta plus square root of 1 minus cos 2 theta. Now as you can see this problem has now shifted its weight towards a more known area. So we know for a fact that the value of 1 plus cos 2 theta has its formula which is 2 cos square theta and the value of 1 minus cos 2 theta can be taken as 2 sin square theta. So this entire problem now changes as follows. So in place of 1 plus cos 2 theta, we can write this as square root of 2 cos square theta plus square root of this will be 2 sin square theta and this entire value will then be divided by 2 cos square theta plus sorry this is minus here and this is minus as well divided by 2 sine square theta. Now we can take two three things uh, simultaneously at a time. Now if you look closely here square root 2 can be taken out common from the numerator and square root of 2 can be taken out common from the denominator as well which can then be cancelled out first thing. Second thing we have squares inside a square root which can cancel out the square root outside. So all we are left with is now 10 inverse of cos theta plus sine theta whole divided by the value of cos theta minus sine theta. Now if you look closely this is very much moving into 10 a plus b or 10 a minus b kind of format but for that we'll have to convert all the sine and cos in this part here in terms of 10. Now that can be done by dividing the numerator as well as the denominator both these values in numerator and denominator by cos theta. So this will be 10 inverse of cos theta plus sine theta whole divided by cos theta and this majorly is then divided by cos theta minus sine theta whole divided by cos theta. So now if you shift the value of cos theta in all these values individually you will get to a situation where we will have this as 10 inverse of cos theta upon cos theta is 1 plus sine theta divided by cos theta is 10 theta and this entire thing is divided by cos theta divided by cos theta is 1 minus sine theta upon cos theta is 10 of theta. Now in place of this one here this one I can write this as 10 45 degree because it had its value fixed at 1 and this can be written as plus 10 theta and whole divided by 1 minus now this single 10 theta can be written as 1 into 10 theta 
which again can be written as 10 pi by 4 into 10 of theta. So if you look closely, this now is the standard formula for 10a plus 10b whole divided by 1 minus 10a 10b, which can then be written as 10 inverse of 10 pi upon 4 plus theta. Now, as I said in the beginning that the value of 10 inverse and 10 get cancelled out. So, these two boys here will cancel out each other. So, all we are left with is pi by 4 plus theta. But the job is still not done because we have to replace this theta in terms of x. So, we'll start where we began. So, we in the beginning we took the value of x square as cos of 2 theta. And here we have to calculate the value of theta here. So the very first thing is that we'll shift this cos this side. So this will be cos inverse of x square, which has its value as 2 theta. So that means if I have to calculate the value of theta, this 2 has to be shifted on the left hand side. So the value of theta will be 1 by 2 multiplied by cos inverse of x square. So let us substitute this value on this side. So that means my friend, the final answer will be pi by 4 plus 1 upon 2 multiplied by cos inverse of x square. This right here my friend is the final reduced form that we were looking for. So I hope that you really like this video. For more such videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.